Hello everybody, good to see you here. I'm Jacek and you're watching Polish Explained. Learning a new language is like embarking on a journey. It can broaden your horizons and give you a different perspective on things. Learning a foreign language is basically great, but it tends to be challenging as well. To enjoy your experience with Polish, it's good to know what we need in order to succeed. Firstly, you need a good reason. How good a reason to study a foreign language is? That's a subjective matter. Whether you are going to live or study in Poland, you have a Polish partner, family or friends, you are passionate about Polish culture and history or simply want to come to Poland for holidays, that's you who makes them count. Any reason to study Polish is good as long as it has two features. It's strong and it's sustainable. Strong reasons make for higher motivation. If you know what you're learning for, it's much harder to stop you. Learning a language is a process. It doesn't happen overnight. It's important to make sure that the next month you will feel like studying as much as you do today. Secondly, we need to figure out how to pursue our goal. The method and learning tools will vary greatly depending on personal preferences, whether you prefer to use a textbook or explanation videos or YouTube. To use notebook with our vocabulary or flashcards, listen to podcasts or watch TV series, that's up to you. What's important is to make learning Polish feel good. Also, using varied resources is in general the most effective. Last but not least, we learn a language primarily to use it. Having a frequent contact with your target language is crucial to keep learning and not start forgetting. Moreover, I personally find having a conversation with a native speaker in my target language one of the most rewarding things on earth. The ultimate result of studying a foreign language is not just an ability to communicate with other people. Studies show that benefits are much more holistic, including better memory, enhanced creative thinking capabilities and improved problem-solving skills. On the top of that, we also have the aspects captured by Nelson Mandela in his words, If you talk to a man in a language he understands, that goes to his head. If you talk to him in his language, that goes to his heart. Now, there are some common challenges on your way to fluency as well. To start with, Polish is quite different from other languages like English. In Polish, there is a lot of going on within a word, so it concisely conveys a lot of meaning. Let's have a look at an example here. We would have gone there. In Polish, this whole English sentence can be expressed by a single word, pojechałybyśmy. This one verb with the meaning of to go has been modified in such a way that it includes information that the action of going was meant to be completed so that we reach the destination. It relates to a past hypothetical situation. The action was supposed to be done by us. We were supposed to go by some sort of vehicle, not on foot. We were meant to go there only once. And moreover, we includes a group of females only. Secondly, there may be some unfamiliar pronunciation as well, like on, en, je, she. You will also have many new words and phrases to learn. According to research, around 1000 words are necessary to understand approximately 80% of everyday language. 3000 words allow us to understand 95% of that, which is roughly comparable to A2 and B1 levels respectively. Remember, however, that you will face these difficulties learning Polish as well as any other language on earth. So why am I here? On this channel, we are explaining the phenomenon of Polish language. Having studied foreign languages myself, there are many things I wish I had known earlier. That's why I'm here with my explanation videos to help you understand how Polish works, including grammar, vocabulary and cultural context. With our podcast, you can practice your listening skills and experience real spoken Polish. They also include scripts, translations and explanations for you to study with. Soon you'll find here study tips for effective language learning as well. If you're looking for resources for your Polish studies, please have a look at our description box and check our channel. We're new here, so please consider subscribing to our channel to support us and see you in the next video. Do zobaczenia!